Echo Trace project is the second phase of the Chaos Toward a Residency that Brighter Sound produced with Everything Everything. So we took the residency week and all the inspiration that came from it and we went out to five branch libraries, Beswick, Longsight, Withinshaw, Withington and North City Library in Harper Hay and we commissioned various artists, musicians, photographers, all in similar theme to the Chaos to Order Week, to go and work into those spaces and work with people already using the library and work with people of all ages in and around the areas. Basically, we've all been involved in a bunch of uh, creative group improvisations and we've been taking turns uh, with randomized groupings so that we never know who we're going to be performing with at any one time. Um, generally we don't worry too much about melody or rhythm or standardized musical ideas like that. We just make noises and textures and sounds and try and work with each other so that what we're creating is balanced, uh, texturally at least. I've been um, serving canapes that were inspired by um, various pieces of literature which Emma read. We thought we'd bring together two of the best things in life, um, food and books. And so, so I read passages from um, Sylvia Plath, Marcel Proust, um, Salman Rushdie's Midnight Children and The Very Hungry Caterpillar was there. Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland, thank you Mary Um So yeah, I read sections from all of those and Mary Ellen created amazing canapes inspired by the bits that I read. It feels quite democratic to, to in a way, um, because it just makes it accessible, like stuff like Proust, which I read, which is so highbrow, but you know, the fact, I felt like I was reading it and I was thinking, oh, I, you know, it's great, but you know, it's not like, it's, it's everyone can get it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. kind of, you shouldn't be, I think sometimes people are scared of literature or certain kinds of literature and, and it's just nice to you know the, to enliven it in that way and yeah. realize it I suppose. bring it to life a little yeah, bit and share it with everyone yep. whole process of doing the performance was really really creative like you could really see everyone's creativity kind of flowing around the building. The project's been an absolute privilege to work on um, we've been working with amazing artists who have come into these spaces and proved just how useful important and creative these spaces are. Libraries are in the centre of every community and uh, what I found wonderful seeing was the fact that there was just so much atmosphere, so much going on in these spaces already, but taking an artistic project into there um, just really just seemed to lift the space and it got great reaction. It's been brilliant to bring all of that back to the Central Library as just a real celebration of library spaces and just how creative they really are and how they can be used. Um, I think in libraries as well, because it's a community space, uh, a lot of people come here and it tends to be you know very quiet which obviously a library is but to have something like this it totally changes the dynamic and the energy of the space um, it's just using it in a different way and because it is a community space a place that anybody can access for it to be used in another way it's, it's such a really positive thing it's been absolutely fantastic working with all these different artists in creative spaces. Brighter Sound are, are really excited about what that means for the future of their projects but also of course we've just had the most fantastic talent with the emerging musicians from the Chaos to Order Week who closed the performance today at the library and they've been in Blueprint, they've recorded their first album together and we look forward to them working together again and Brighter Sound being able to support that. <laughs> <laughs>